What, what is, uh, you know, there, there's a certain frequency that um, is real biting mm -hmm. if you're sitting in an audience and this, it, there's this frequency that just, just drills your ears. It, that, is, that, is that 3K? What is that? Yeah, it's somewhere around 3, three to 4K is that magic uh, spot that, um, you know, God put in, like, babies' voices when babies cry so <laughs> yeah. that parents can hear it from way down the hall. Um, yeah. You know, and that's also the, the sound that just sometimes, especially certain people are really sensitive to it, but it'll be that one that's just, like, out that really hurts. Like, yeah. your violin, I, I take... I always take the you see you have it plugged straight into a DI. Yeah. I always pull out like three point one five K. Like I just dive it at, all the way out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that's that real piercing sound, and you get into a a church setting, and it's just like, ow, it hurts my ears. That's usually, uh, if you're a sound engineer, that's that three K biting, biting sound, and it's really uh, abrasive. And it's not, it's just not a pretty sound. Um, uh, I'd almost rather have a real high feedback than that bitey 3K. <laughs> yeah. But there's just that, it seems like it's always the culprit. And then there seems to be a low, kind of a, there's a, like mm -hmm. whatever that is. What? Well, What's, that depends. That's that depends on the room, okay. uh, but yeah, a lot of times in the vocal range, you normally will pull out oh anywhere from two to four hundred hertz in the low mids thing just to get that. Um, yeah. There's that that sort of warm muffly yeah. thing that happens, yeah. and it's funny. Like in a in like a kick drum, you think, oh, I've got it. I want it to be huge, so I need to add some lows to it. But really, a lot of times the problem is that you've got something a little higher, like a one sixty. 100 to 160 hertz right and if you pull that out you it's counterintuitive you would normally think okay it's a low frequency i want to push it up but a lot of times what you do is you pull that out and it what it happens is that sound has been masking the lower stuff mm -hmm. and you can't perceive the lower stuff so it's weird you you pull pull all that that frequency out like around 160 to narrow band and all of a sudden you're hearing all that rich low sub stuff that you weren't hearing before and you go, yeah. oh, it actually sounds bigger and lower even though okay. there's less information there. Yeah.